Hey guys, um, I'm going to do another video update. So last time I showed you the battle damage I did on the Predator, here it is. I um, haven't done anything else to it. Um, and now what I'm going to do is start the weathering, so mud layering and uh, powders and things like that. So I'll, uh, I'll do a few things and then come back and, and show you what I've done and talk you through it. Cheers guys. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so just done a couple of layers of mud, so a bit of, uh, uh, what did I use, bit of that, charred and granite, and can we brown, on top of that, so you get this kind of nicely layered mud effect, on the bottom and on the tracks, front of the tank and stuff like that. Um, so it's starting to get a bit more texture now. Um, I'm going to start putting on some powders, weathering powders and things like that next. Um, I do have details to do like lights and things but I might try some light effects on them and they'll punch out a bit more if they're not covered in dirt. So They should look quite nice. Um, Alright then guys, I will come back with some more detail. See you in a bit. Hey guys, um, so I've now applied a bunch of weathering powder, um, forge wood weathering powder. This is one of the dry muds. So I want to try and make this look really battered and like it's been used a lot. So it's covered in stuff. Um, I've gone heavier than I have on previous stuff. And, quite like it, it's kind of starting to get the look I want to get for this for this tank. Um, so I'm going to do some sooting now and soot the top of these and soot the guns, uh, the cannon and the uh, smoke launchers, grenade launchers, uh, smoke launchers. And then like I say I'll go in and pick out um, lights and things like that afterwards and just punch them a bit. But it's all, it's all quite nice. I quite like it. It's, uh, it's coming together. Okay, guys. Um, hope you uh, hope you like it. Um, I'll be back again soon with another update. All right, cheers, bye. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Thought I'd shoot this one in the morning to see if I can get a bit better light. Uh, so, weathering powder added, uh, rust added in the back. All of this has then been blown back with the airbrush. But I think it's looking pretty cool. Still got the side sponsors to do, as I said, but I've got all that level of dirt and mud and grime on it now, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, certain stuff on the end of the cannon um, just dry brush down the end of the uh, smoke launchers these have all had are going to get a bit more of a dry brush of the rune lord brass which is looking really cool um, pick out a few details on here and then couple more details like the visor slits and the lights and things like that I'm going to do now just pick them out nice and subtly and then uh, paint the crew and do these bolts on the side which I'm going to really punch the silver on then um, or just give them a bit more an iron feel I suppose some of the casing and things like that and that bolt was in the wrong side yeah it is um, okay, well there you go. Hope you like it. Um, certainly different. It's cool. Now that the mud's gone on, it's kind of knocked the scratches and dust back a little bit. Um, I really like it. I'm really happy with it. So I will update you when the rest of the details are finished and um, you'll be able to see the little bits and bobs I'm going to do to try and give it that Survivor of Istvan feel. Alright, take it easy guys. Peace.